Here are the 12 fascinating things I learned when I celebrated Christmas in the most Polish way. Last Christmas, I was invited by my Polish friend to celebrate a Christmas with her family. In this video, I will share my experience from that day and what traditions and cultures I've learned. This Christmas, despite being far from my family, I had the opportunity to celebrate it with the true spirit of the season. I encountered amazing people, immersed myself in their culture, and enjoyed quality time with them. It's an experience that holds a special place in my heart and I am extremely grateful for it. I really couldn't resist sharing this wonderful experience with you all. They've been so kind in explaining their traditions and cultures and I've genuinely learned a lot. By the way guys, I am Tam, Filipina currently working and living in Poland and if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe as it really means a lot to me. Yes, I know it's a little bit past Christmas because I was really busy after the holidays but anyways, I'm still gonna do this video so without further ado, let's go to the topic. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine the night, wanna dance to the light, pull stars from the sky, just two hearts running wild, never sleep, never stop. the 12 fascinating things I've learned when I celebrated Christmas in Poland. Jumping on the first one, the extra chair on Vigilia. Vigilia guys is a term for the traditional Christmas Eve supper in Poland. This is held on December 24th. So in the Philippines, we call it as Noche Buena. During Christmas, they have this heartwarming tradition of setting an extra chair at the dinner table. So for example, you were only four in the Christmas Eve, then you need to prepare five chairs. If you're a group of five, then you need to prepare six chairs. So basically just an extra one. So the question is, for whom is the extra chair? So actually, the extra chair symbolizes the hospitality of the Polish families making room for unexpected guests. It's a beautiful gesture that says if someone suddenly knocks on the door, arrives and announces and invited without question, they are wholeheartedly welcome in the family. So the reason for this is that they believe no one should be alone on Christmas Eve. I found it so sweet and so thoughtful. What are your opinion about this, guys? Are you all practicing this? Please comment it down below. Number two is breaking the opotek, a communion of wishes. One of the main highlights is breaking the opotek. It's the very special Christmas white wafer. So I'll show you the picture. This is my favorite part, guys. So it tastes similar to the one we had in churches before the mass end. So the circle, it stays the same. However, it's a rectangle shaped wafer and everyone grabs one. So how do we do this? For example, we are four, then I need to take a piece from the three of you one by one from your opotek by breaking it and then eating it and I will then have to make a wish for the three of you one by one for the upcoming year. So then the three of you will do the same. Also take a piece from mine by breaking it and eating it and you have to make a wish for me. It's this heart-to-heart -heart moment, you know, symbolizing the unity and love, especially during Vigilia. It's just pure warmth and I gotta be honest with you guys, I nearly shed a tear when I experienced this. It's the sweetest thing ever and to my friend's family, thank you so much. Jinko <laughs> barso. Number 3, 12 foods for 12 apostles. After breaking the output deck, it will be now dinner time. So unlike the usual big Christmas dinner, the Polish Christmas dinner involves a meatless feast. Yes guys, you heard it right. No meat on Christmas Eve with 12 dishes representing the 12 apostles or the 12 months of the year. It like pork, beef, and chicken is a big no, only fish is allowed on the 24th. So I'll show you guys the video of the food we had on December 24th. These are the traditional food served on Christmas by most Polish families. We've got beetroot soup, 
So it's really tasty. We've got pierogi. It's a Polish dumpling filled with mushroom and cabbage. We've got a fried fish like carp, cod. We've got Greek fish. It's not known why this Polish dish is called Greek, but it's normally white fish fillet, so served in vegetable sauce, including carrots, parsley, onion, and tomato. We've got the herring, we've got pangus, and if you're wondering where the milk fish came from, so it is given to us by a Filipino seafarer. So we met last year here in Poland. They gave us their catch from their ship. So thank you for the bamus kabayan. We also had the sorry fish taste like paksiw, a Filipino dish cooked with vinegar. We also had a lot of different kinds of cakes. We have cheesecakes, or we call as our nick. We've got makovki, so it's a sweet poppy seed based bread dessert. There has a lot of nuts on it and oh my god, it was so delicious. We've got gingerbread and gingerbread cookies, of course, it should be present. We also had a drink named kompot. It's a Polish beverage traditionally cooked with a variety of dried or smoked fruit and spices. This one they said either you loved it or you hate it, but fortunately I really loved it. My Polish friends, she said she doesn't like this one. And the last one, we've got this fried bread, I forgot the name. So every dish has its own significance in their tradition as you can see in the picture. We really had a lot of food and mind you guys, this is only on the 24th. So there are different bunch of food served on the 25th. And on the 25th, of course, you can eat meat already. So here is the picture of the food we had. We had tartar, fresh ham, salami, sausages, cheese, osipe, golonga. We had different dish this day and for the Filipino, contribution of course we asked them to try the sinanga kare kare and tosino and they love it surprisingly they love the bagoong guys so it's a really thumbs up it was amazing to try these traditional dishes and you will be really full if you go to the polish christmas number four is the first star in the sky a little bit of comparison, in the Philippines, some families serve the feast at midnight but dinner is often eaten at around 10 p.m., right? So here in Poland, they celebrate it early. Supposedly, dinner should start at when you see the first star in the sky and because it is winter, it will be really dark and you can see the star in the sky at around 5 to 6 p.m. So there is really no specific time. As long as you see the first star, you can now eat your dinner. Number five, giving gifts. So for dinner, guys, the fun part will be the gift giving. So po Polish people really love to give gifts. They showered me with a bunch of presents. Obviously, I'm really touched. So I'll show you guys my gifts and get this. They were genuinely grateful and appreciative. So it's not just about the gifts or the price of the gifts, but it's the thoughts behind it. And that's really the true spirit of the Christmas and aside from giving gifts on Christmas Eve, you also have the Santa Day here. It's the celebration of Saint Nicholas. It's dated on December 6th which are also giving gifts mostly to kids but I think I'm still a kid that's why I received gifts on December 6th so yeah. I could say that really Polish people really love to give gifts. I found it. Oh, it's already faded. Can you see this, guys? So, this is number six. A scale for luck. This is a carp scale I got on the Christmas Eve in Poland. It is believed that carrying a scale, just one piece from the fish servant Vigilia, brings good luck and prosperity in the coming year. So, the host will take one and you must give it in your wallet for the rest of the year. Now a token that will remind me of the warmth and generosity I experienced during the Polish Christmas. Fun fact guys, some older women will put these guests in their bra for the meal and then give them as a gift to the guests for the following day. <laughs> Number 7, no alcohol before Christmas. It's a tradition to abstain from alcohol on Christmas Eve since we need to go to church. The focus should be on a spiritual aspect of the celebration. However, of course, after the mass, things change. So I got to experience Bimber or Moonshine. It's a homemade spirit vodka. It can be flavored or not. This adds a lively festive touch to the post-mass celebration. So I only took a little for the Bimber though because guys, I am warning you, this is around 50% volume. Or above and I don't want to get drunk or pass out there so instead we drink Saska Kava and it's now my favorite thing it's so sweet and it's so yummy and I really like it for it 
Christmas mass or pasterka. Did you know guys that about 71.3% of the population in Poland is identified as Roman Catholic in year 2021? That is why attending Midnight Mass is also celebrated in Christmas here in Poland. They call it Pasterka. In the Philippines, we call it Misa de Cali or Simbangabi. All churches have Mass on Christmas Eve. Though I cannot understand a thing because everything is in Polish, and I would say that Roman Catholic Masses is held similar in the Philippines. Number 9 is 3 Days Christmas Celebration. In Poland, they celebrated Christmas for three days. First day is on 24th, of course, the Christmas Eve. Though it's not a holiday, most Polish takes leaves on 24th. The 25th will be the first day of Christmas, while the 26th will be the second day of Christmas. As we know, 25th and 26th of December is holiday here in Poland, so the total of three days. Also, as I mentioned earlier, they have this Santa Day, which is December 6th. They also celebrate it, but it's not holiday. Number 10, the luck of the first man guests. So the next one, actually, they said it was believed before and lesser family actually do this. But they said that if the first visitor or guest is a man that will enter the house, it will bring luck to the home or to the host family. So if the family get really blessed for the year, thanks to the bearer of the luck and thanks for that visitor. Number 11, Christmas decoration. So Polish families go all out with Christmas decorations, so from intricately decorated Christmas trees to festive ornaments, every corner of the house has the holiday cheer. So, but my favorite part, guys, oh my god, hear me out on this. I had to ask you a question. Where did you see your mom kiss Santa last night? Underneath where? Underneath the mistletoe as so in the ceiling, I heard a lot of Polish families put this mistletoe, basically hanging the mistletoe on your ceiling on Christmas Eve, literally made us all be under mistletoe last Christmas, right? Now those songs makes more sense now. Number 12, haze under the tablecloth. So on table dinner on Vigilia, you can see haze under it. So they said that haze symbolizes the humble manger where Jesus was born. If you are Polish or a foreigner who experienced Poland Christmas, do you also practice this? Let me know in the comments below. For my conclusion, I would say you guys that the Polish way to celebrate Christmas is very intimate and very family oriented. Usually it will be more on talking with each other at the dinner and have fun with your family, spread the spirit of generosity, play games and so on. The emphasis on family, togetherness and sharing on love and kindness with others made this Christmas truly unforgettable for me. And that is all for today's vlog, the 12 things I learned celebrating Christmas in Poland. I hope you enjoyed the glimpse into a different Christmas tradition. Feel free to leave your comments below. I would really want to know your thoughts about this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really means a lot to me. That is all. Take care, be safe, and bye-bye.